Hey there, cadets. My name is Captain Cut Time. Uh, my good friend, Major Cadenza, asked me to be here to talk about beginning stick grip when you are approaching the snare drum. So, you have your standard snare drum stick. There are three parts to the snare drum stick. The bottom end is called the butt. The middle part is called the shaft. And the part which strikes the drum is called the bead. Now, when you grip your snare drum stick, you want to think about cutting the stick into thirds, and you want to grip it on the lower third. Okay? So, um, where your hands make contact with the stick is called the fulcrum. Now, your fulcrum exists between your thumb and your index finger. What you want to do is you want to grip the stick between your thumb and your first and second knuckle on your index finger. Okay? Once that is established, simply take your remaining three fingers and gently wrap them around the stick. Okay? Your main grip is going to come from this contact point, and you don't want to grip the stick with your bottom three fingers too tight or too loose. Okay? What you don't want to do is have all three fingers fly off the stick like this. Okay? Once you have this established, take your left hand, do the exact same thing so they mirror, and that is your basic match grip for the snare drum. Now, one thing you might run into when you're watching some videos or seeing some other drummers play is their grip doesn't necessarily look like this. They aren't matched. Now, um, one advanced technique that some drummers use is called traditional grip, which looks similar to this. Okay? The reason why uh, very early drummers would hold their sticks like this is because they would wear their drum and the drum was slanted. This would give them a better angle to play. Okay? That again is called a traditional grip, which uh, we aren't really going to talk about today. Uh, we are going to mainly focus on the match grip. So, where we strike the drum is actually very, very important, okay? Um, if you take a look at the bottom of the drum, this ribbon is called the snares. Ideally, you want to be playing over the snares at all times. So, when you put the drum back on the stand, you want to take note of where the snares are and you always want to be playing above them. For example, if I were to play on the snare, you get one particular sound. However, if I were to play off of the snares, you get a much different sound. Did you guys hear that at home? In order to get the most consistent sound, again, you want both of your sticks to be playing over the snare bit. Now, depending on where you strike the drum, will contribute to how loud and how soft you play. The closer I play to the center, the louder it gets. However, the closer I play to the edge of the drum, the softer it gets. If you have any questions about what we talked about so far, please feel free to send an email to the address listed below. And don't forget, keep practicing.